Hello everyone and welcome back to Propway. Happy New Year everyone. As you can see from the title, today's build is going to be about the new Ant-Man helmet from Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And this helmet actually is specific to Quantumania. After doing a ton of research on the different Ant-Man helmets, he wore a different helmet in every single appearance that he made. So this helmet is based off of clips from the trailer as well as some official photos from Marvel's Instagram. And lucky for you guys, I'm going to show you step by step how to make your very own. This is made almost entirely out of EVA foam, so it was relatively cheap to make. I completely freehanded the entire helmet, and I do plan to put a link to the template in the description below. And like all of my helmets, this is definitely wearable and is actually quite comfortable. And I know I say this a lot, but truly this has been one of my favorite builds, and I think it's probably one of the best looking helmets I've made. Before we get on with the tutorial, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I have so many, so many cool projects coming up this year, and you guys do not want to miss it. So without further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. So like most of my helmet builds, I start off by freehanding a pattern onto a sheet of 4mm EVA foam. By the way, I'm going to try doing this audio in one take, so excuse any mistakes. And now you should have 5 pieces cut out here, just like this. And we're going to connect them with some Weldwood contact cement. And basically you just want to brush that onto all the edges that you're going to combine. And make sure you touch every part of that edge. And here we're just going to add it on to all of the pieces. And once you let it dry a little bit to be kind of tacky and not liquidy, you can start combining your pieces together like this. And for this forehead piece, you want to make sure you have this little offset to make it more accurate to the movie. And now we just continue assembling that forehead. And then now the sides of that forehead, we're going to combine right here. And once you're done, you should have something that looks like this. And moving on, we're going to start building the nose piece, which is going to fit in right here. And you'll notice some of these pieces have a little bevel to it, and the template will show where to cut those bevels. So we're just going to start assembling that nose just like this. And you'll notice the nose is a little bit kind of offset from the forehead like this, but that's not a problem. It'll get fixed with this next step. So here I have a little visor piece cut out that's going to get put behind the eyes. And I just use some contact cement for that. And once that's glued into place, you should have a nice kind of firm piece that looks like this. And now I have this little strip that's going to be kind of starting the mouthpiece. So we're going to start gluing that in. And that's just going to wrap around the nose like that. And here we just cut off the ends to make it even. And now I have three more strips here that I'm going to glue on. And once that's assembled, you can start cutting that off. So now I take this cardboard tube and this has a diameter of 2.17 inches or 55.2 millimeters. As long as you find something close to it, it should be fine. So I'm going to cut off a short section of this about maybe three quarters of an inch long. And here, that's, that's just going to get glued into the mouth just like this. And here I'm taking this foam disc, which is about a half inch thick. And I'm going to cut a bevel into it with an X-Acto knife. But it's going to come out kind of rough like this. So we can always take a Dremel and kind of smooth it out. And you can see here, I'm going to kind of sand it off and get a nice smooth looking edge. And once you have that, you can insert that into your cardboard piece and your faceplate should be done. So moving on, we're going to work on the sides of the helmet. I have these two pieces of foam cut out. And that's just going to get contact cemented to the faceplate on either side. And now we can take these two kind of half circle pieces. And again, these are going to get glued to the sides of the helmet. And when you glue these together, those should have a nice little kind of inwards angle to them. So we're going to do both sides just like this. And at this point, the helmet's starting to come together and you should have something that looks like this. Now moving on, we have these two bigger kind of half circle pieces and these are going to be starting to build the top of the helmet. And now I'm just going to combine everything with this straight rectangular piece of foam. This is going to sit right in the middle. And that's going to close off the main structure of the helmet. And 
And here's what you should have. So we have now completed a very big chunk of the helmet. So now that the main structure is done, we are gonna start cutting out and gluing the antenna pieces that go on the sides of the helmet. So moving along, I am drawing out kind of the sides of the mouth piece right here. And you should have these six pieces, three for either side. We're gonna start assembling that with the contact cement just like this. And you should have something that looks like this and we're gonna glue that on right to the side of the mouth. And again, I just use contact cement. You guys can use hot glue or super glue, but contact cement for me seems to hold stronger. And here's what, look, and here's what it looks like when you have both pieces put on. Now for the antennas, we have this piece right here, which is gonna kind of sit right along that mouth piece. And then here's the big side piece. And now we just use contact cement to combine those two together. And then we glue that to that side mouth piece. And once you have both sides done, it looks like this. And now I'm just gonna be adding some details to the mouth. This is just a piece of two millimeter EVA foam. And now I have some details on the helmet that I can score with an X-Acto knife. You'll notice I'm not cutting all the way through, I'm kind of just dragging my knife along it. And here I do it to the sides of the antenna as well. And now I take my trusty heat gun and I want to heat up the entire helmet, especially those lines that we just scored and you'll notice that they start opening up. And here's what it should look like when you're all done heating it up. You can see those lines open up nicely. Now to seal it, I use this satin Mod Podge. Make sure it's satin. It comes on a lot thinner and a lot smoother than a gloss version. So I just put that on the entire helmet. And now we're gonna start painting it with this metallic silver acrylic paint. Here was the first layer, which I didn't record myself painting. But now I just add on a couple more layers like this. And now for the rest of the helmet, I use this metallic gunmetal gray, which is a nice kind of dark gray color. And here I'm just gonna add that to the top and the sides as well as the mouthpiece. And when you're all done painting, it should look like this. And of course this is missing the red details, which we're gonna add right here. And this is just a regular red acrylic paint. I like to use acrylic paint because it is cold here in Chicago, so I don't get a chance to really go outside much. But of course it warmed up here, so now I use this gloss clear spray, which I use to just spray the entire helmet, and give it a nice gloss coat. And now the final piece is gonna be the lenses, which I use this clear binder divider. And basically we just cut out these small pieces to glue them in. And once it's glued in just like that, you have a complete Ant-Man helmet that looks like this. Thank you guys so much for watching that tutorial. As always, I hope you guys learned something and if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. If you do build one and post photos or videos of it, feel free to tag me on Instagram or TikTok and I would love to see and share your work. And that is it for this video guys. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.